The Isagenix Weight Loss System is a meal replacement shake and supplement program that's promoted to help you lose weight and keep it off. Unlike many other brands, Isagenix has done some clinical research which they use to support their claims. I dug into those studies and here's what I found. Let's science it. Hey, welcome to Nourishable, I'm Dr. Lara. Isagenix is a multi-level marketing company that sells meal replacement shakes and supplements. Their popular 30-day weight loss system is described as a cleansing and fat burning pack ideal for individuals who want to lose weight using a long-term flexible program. The website is full of before and after pictures with anecdotes of weight loss success. There's more sciencey content too, with infographics describing the health and economic impact of weight loss through Isagenix. These impressive figures were extrapolated from clinical studies using the Isagenix system. So let's dig into those studies to find out if Isagenix works for weight loss. Isagenix funded researchers to study the short and long-term impact of their program on weight loss. They recruited 43 healthy, overweight, or obese subjects. The study was divided into two parts, a three-month weight loss phase followed by a year-long weight maintenance phase. During the weight loss phase, all 43 subjects followed the Isagenix weight loss program. Breakfast and lunch were each replaced with 240 calorie Isoline shakes. Then they ate a low calorie dinner and an evening snack bar for a total of 1200 to 1500 calories. This was followed six days a week. Intermittent fasting was performed once per week with six servings of a cleansing beverage plus some snacks per a total of 400 calories. After three months, they lost on average 10% of their body weight. But this highlights the first big problem with the study. There was no control group. Isagenix yielded weight loss compared to what? Without a control group, we can't conclude that Isagenix induced weight loss. The weight maintenance phase also had some serious design flaws. After three months of weight loss, subjects picked whether they wanted to follow the Heart Healthy Diet or a modified Isagenix program for the following year. The Heart Healthy group was given recommendations for a high fiber, low cholesterol diet with 35% of calories from fat and 50 to 60% from carbs. The modified Isagenix group replaced two meals a day with shakes while consuming whole foods for the rest, plus one to two days of intermittent fasting per month. In rigorous study design, it is important to randomize subjects to different treatments so you can isolate the impact of the treatment. However, in this study, subjects self-selected which program they wanted to follow, so we have no idea whether it was Isagenix or just something else about these subjects that yielded the results. Murky at best. Next problem. The results looked impressive after one year, with Isagenix dieters maintaining weight loss while the heart-healthy dieters regained some weight. But a closer reading shows that not everyone was included in these results. The researchers filtered out all subjects who were not compliant with the program for the whole year. 47% of Isagenix dieters and 22% of heart healthy dieters were not compliant, so they were dropped from the analysis. For those who did perfectly comply, Isagenix dieters maintained weight loss, whereas the heart healthy group regained some weight. But what about the other 47% of the Isagenix dieters who didn't stick with the program? When considering weight maintenance, the most important question is whether the habits can be sustained. I interpret filtering out nearly half of the subjects as cherry picking the data to support a desired conclusion. And another problem, this is a big one. The researchers used some shady statistics to stack the deck in favor of Isagenix. My takeaway from these studies? Isagenix may help with weight maintenance if you stick with it perfectly, but only about 50% of people can keep it up in the long term. These flaws in the Isagenix studies make it difficult to come away with strong conclusions. But what does other research say about comparable weight loss programs? Looking at many similar three month long studies, we can say that low calorie partial meal replacement programs similar to Isagenix can yield short term weight loss. But what about long term weight maintenance? This is definitely the trickier nut to crack. It's possible to follow any restrictive plan for a few months, but what about a year or two or more down the line? I've laid out why I don't buy the results from the Isagenix studies, but here are two other studies that may give some insight into what is more and less important for long-term weight maintenance. The Look Ahead study is the largest and longest randomized controlled trial investigating an intensive lifestyle intervention on weight loss. 5,000 overweight subjects with type 2 diabetes were randomized to either comprehensive weight loss counseling or usual care for eight years. Weight loss counseling included group and individual sessions, a structured low-cal meal plan, including partial meal replacements, and a physical activity prescription for the first year, followed by individualized counseling for years two through eight. 
Overall, the comprehensive counseling group lost significantly more weight during the first year. Some maintained this weight loss, while others regained by year eight. Researchers compared which strategies were used more frequently by weight loss maintainers versus regainers. There was no difference in usage of meal replacements. Both maintainers and regainers reported to using them about 30% of the weeks per year. This suggests that usage of meal replacements doesn't differentiate between maintainers versus regainers. The maintainers reported significantly more physical activity, weight monitoring, and more frequent low-calorie food intake than regainers, suggesting that these strategies may be more important for long-term weight maintenance. Another study addresses this question in a different way. The National Weight Control Registry follows individuals who have maintained at least a 30-pound weight loss for a year or more. The researchers ask the individuals what strategies they use for maintenance. The first takeaway is that there's no one-size-fits-all approach. However, only about 10% report using a meal replacement shake as one of their strategies. Techniques used by 85-95% to 95 of the cohort include keeping healthy foods at home, regular self-weighing, and physical activity. Let's wrap this up by returning to our original question. Does Isagenics work for weight loss? Similar to many other meal replacement shake programs, Isagenics is probably effective for short-term weight loss. But long-term weight maintenance is far more important. The year-long Isagenic studies were deeply flawed, so I don't think they offer insight into the maintenance question. There is no one-size-fits-all magic bullet for weight maintenance, but the best data we have available indicates that physical activity, weight self-monitoring, and consuming a reduced calorie diet are the most important strategies. Long-term weight maintenance requires habits that can be sustainably incorporated into lifestyle and culture. Solely relying on dessert-flavored meal replacement shakes isn't sustainable for the long haul. That's what science tastes like. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable. Check out my video description for all my references and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things nutrition.